Hey you guys, PJD here. I hope you're all doing well. I just wanted to come at you quickly with a what's new this week video because I haven't done one of these in a while. So here we go. Um, first up, I purchased, and as you can see, it's almost done. I had the conditioner upside down, which is why it's like this. It's thick, so it's at the top. But it's not much left of it here. It would probably fall around here. Same level pretty much as the shampoo, right around the, that area. But this is Carol Daughter's latest line, as far as I know. I don't think the macadamia one came out before this one but anyway this is her ch chocolate line and the reason you would use this is because this is supposed to protect your hair and make it smooth and really great if you plan on following up your hair process with heat some heating tool some device like whether it's curling iron blow dryer etc anything like that that you plan on applying on your hair uh, it's recommended that you use this line before you use the heat Okay, I've definitely, definitely used this up. I'm really ready to do the review. I just have a couple of posts that need to precede this one, but this one is coming up really soon because I'll tell you whether or not, in my opinion, you should get all three or if it's just worth it to get one. Does it really work or not? Whole deal. So we'll, we'll discuss. And of course, ingredients and all that jazz. I did go to Sephora and I was looking for a great new mask, hair mask, and... I ended up, I was going to get the full size of Living Proof, but this gentleman convinced me, this Sephora employee, he said, oh, why don't you use the entire line by getting just the sample? I forgot what it's called. It's called like Tester Box or something, but it's a box with the restorative mask, and this is for dry or damaged hair. Um, it comes with the conditioner, and it comes with a shampoo. So I used a little of the conditioner, the deep, the mask, but... I mean, very, very little, so that doesn't even count. So I really haven't used this yet, but, you know, we'll talk about that. Now let's get on to nail polish before I get into some of the fun things. As you know, if you've been following my blog, I have the nail of the week post that I normally do. Um, today I'm wearing Minka. This picture will already be on my blog, which is linked below. But this is Minka from Zoya. I have a love-hate relationship with this color. Sometimes I like how it looks on my nails, sometimes I don't. I just want to mention what I have on my nails. Um, but the new things, I purchased just a base because it says strong adhesion base coat, coat from China Glaze. So pick that up at Sally's. I got also anything else interesting. Oh, I got this Mega Last. Now, I am a bit of a cosmetic snob in that I've never purchased um, anything from Wet n Wild. This is my first thing. I actually looked at the blog from um, it's we love style.blogspot.com. Uh, Maven, I'll, I can link her below. But pretty much, she did a review of a nail polish that came from this line. I thought her nails looked great. So I decided to indulge because it's only a dollar and like 99 cents, or maybe it was even cheaper than that. So I got one. This shade of red was called, is called, I read a good book, and the red is R E D. Okay, so that's what that is. And I will do a post on this because I've already tried it on my nails and taken it off. So I'll tell you um, and I'll show you the pictures on the blog whether and once I do this, whether or not it lasts, which is one thing that it claims it will do. It's the mega last line. And I'll tell you how many coats it takes to get a really good um, layering of that color. All right, another new polish comes from Butter London. You already know I love Butter London. They're one of the three free companies, so no carcinogens in their product. This particular one is called Slapper. It's like this. I will definitely be featuring this as a nail of the week. I will tell you, once I opened the box, once it arrived at my home, and I looked at it, I said, oh, don't I have a shade like this? But really, they're not identical. Um, this one is Fairy Teal by um, Sally Hansen. All right, and it is a sh like a shade darker, but they're in the same teal family. So there you go. This one is Slapper. This is new. The Sally Hansen is not. So let me get that over here. Uh, next thing from Butter London. This is a unique type of polish. It's kind of iridescent. It looks like it has sparkles in it, but when you put it on, it's you don't have that kind of gritty sparkle thing to get off of your nails. So it's interesting, but to see it on the nails, um, I'll definitely do this as a nail of the week one day as well. And this one is called Knackered. Knackered. There you go. And next up, push that back so you can see those, is, oh, the last one. Maybe my favorite from um, this purchase that I got from Butter London. This one right here, it come, I have this on my toes right now. It comes out this color with one coat. This one is called Blagger. 
B-L-A-G-G-E-R. And it's like a cobalt blue, which is a color that I adore. So I got that. All right, now I did review this on my blog already, and I'll have the link in the description box. This is from Revlon, their Color Stay line. They claim that the Color Stay polish can stay on your nails for 11 days. There is a caveat though, so read the blog post if you're interested and need to know what will what you need to do in order for it to stay on for 11 days, according to Revlon. And then you'll also see in that post what happened to me. Okay, so this one is Wild Strawberry already featured on my blog. I know it looks like a pink color and I guess it kind of does and I'm normally the one saying I don't like pink but it has kind of this pearl-esque appearance in it. It's probably not going to play off well on camera but it has this like pearl-like color running through it. Really nice summer color. So that's Wild Strawberry. The other one that I've already reviewed on my blog also from the Revlon Color Stay line is Marmalade. Our marmalade as some would say uh, number 110 and it's this nice fun summer or spring orange I like this very much it looks good on and that too was reviewed on the blog already the one that I haven't worn yet for the blog um, or at all actually I did put it on once but I don't think I took a picture for the blog this one is number 280 and it is called blue slate there we go, blue slate. So that ended, oh, and I did get the top coat, which is one of the two things that Revlon claims that you need in order for this to stay on for 11 days. So just a clear top coat, that's that. I also got from China Glaze, this one is called Ahoy. Uh, if I turn it this way, Ahoy, number 947. And if you can see here, it too looks like it has sparkles, right? But it really doesn't. It's, again, that type of um, almost like knackered where you put it on, and it looks like you have sparkles on your nail, but once you use nail polish remover, it comes off as if you don't have anything in here. So it's more of a shimmer effect than, than anything. So there we go. Those are the polishes, if that can behave itself. Um, the other thing that you're going to see reviewed soon is this Ico Mascara. Isn't this a unique tube? I'll, I'll probably do a quick video blurb on it, but the real thing is going to be on the... Or at least I'll tell you when I have the post up on this with uh, pictures because I've already done it on my lashes. I've been wearing this for a while to review it. But I think I should on camera to show you what the brush looks like, etc. So I'll, I'll do that when I'm up to that. So do that. Oh, the other thing. Uh, well, let me show you this first. Sorry. I got this free. This is just a Sephora. Um, I got this free from Sephora, you know, using my... 100 beauty points this is just a mascara from sephora this particular one is called outrageous volume sorry you're getting the outrageous volume okay there we go let's look at the i haven't used it yet so i don't know oh okay it doesn't look as clumpy as i thought some areas a bit more clumpier than the others but this has really um kind of short but lots of bristles all right we'll see how that oh well, look at that it's like a an abyss <laughs> deep hole and that's a big wide surface area alrighty okay well that will be interesting I'll give that a try now I want to show you a couple of lip colors that I got from Sephora and these are Sephora brand colors and normally I don't really do the Sephora brand makeup but I went in the store I saw the tester I swatched it on my hand and I thought it was cute enough to get this particular one is called a uh, uh, fuchsia fever it's the name of this color let me swatch it um, I'll also put pictures with this on my lip on my I'll click the link below it'll be in the description box and you can see this not just on my hand but you can see it on my lips as well because quite honestly I like this on my hand but when I put it on my lips I think it's kind of weird and it costs 12 bucks um, so I got that the other thing that I should say about this though, all three of them that I'm going to show you, because I got three of these in three different shades, I think they look best on my hand, but I think they work as good overlays. See how it looks like shimmery, like glitter? It doesn't have glitter that you would actually, like you don't feel glitter, it just has that appearance of glitter, which I think is pretty cool and the reason why I actually want to pick it up is one day I saw Jennifer Lopez on television and she had this red lipstick on and it actually looked like 
glitter was on her lips but you knew it wasn't glitter it just had this kind of really pretty metallic look to it and I wanted to see if I could duplicate that then I happened to have gone into Sephora and I saw this is the one that caught my eye um, fancy red and it also has that kind of shimmery look here I'll swatch it and it gives kind of that metallic let's see if it can show up maybe not so well but it kind of uh, shows up like you have some sort of metallic -y, glittery thing on your lips as well but yeah for me it's too much on my lips but it did work well as if I have on red lipstick and I put this on as like a light overlay it looks good it gives it a good appearance I can't go heavy with it but I can give it kind of a light swatching over red and I think it looks better similarly for this one I put it over Vallesperino by NARS which I showed in a previous video and it's also on my blog too so you can scroll through and find that I did it as like the lip of the week or whatever I called it but it's one of the NARS colors so I put that on top of this and it gave it a nice kind of instead of the that matte finish a soft matte it gave it kind of a, a little punch a little kick something else and then the final one that I got for 12 bucks is this color um, raspberry well vinyl right raspberry and it's a raspberry <laughs> so here it is and again that kind of shimmery look to it and once again on my lips alone I don't like it it feels like way too much yeah, but that, oh, I hope it's coming off on camera properly because it really does give this bright, shiny, and almost sparkly, shimmery look. That's the appearance of these. So, yeah, people can have fun with these, and that cost 12 bucks. The last thing that I got that day was also a Sephora brand. This is called, now I know I'm the person always talking about the pink, right? But this one is called, um, I was just curious to see how this would work. It's called, <laughs> sorry, Unique Pink because it's just a regular balm, right? Just a regular old balm. So it comes on your lips clear. It's just a clear, regular balm, but it gives you your perfect shade. The reason I purchased it is it goes based on the pH of your skin. And maybe you can't see, but it's changing just a little bit there. And I knew that mine would not be like this hot pink kind of hot mess on me and exactly on my lips it changes to like a a very very light soft not red but lighter than red definitely but it, it it's a nice color kind of rosy and it is um nice and moisturizing and this too cost 12 bucks so i thought that was cool um now i guess the best product i think Sorry. So I guess the thing that was most exciting for this purchase was this. Now I know I've shown you before um, shadow insurance by Too Faced and I like it and it keeps my um, eyeshadow on for a really long time. So when I saw that they had a product for, and this is the shadow insurance, when I saw that they had a product for your lips, had to get it. So here it is. I used it once. My review... Um, it's going to come up only after I've used it for a while, but it's the same concept as the shadow insurance. You put this on your lips before you put on your gloss or your lipstick, and it's supposed to give you extended wear. Like, keep that baby on all day, pretty much. <laughs> so, there you go. Um, so, I got that. I forgot how much that cost, but when I do the actual review, of course, I'll tell you all of that information. Sorry, I kind of want everything in frame. Uh, next thing... Oh, yeah, I did get this, too, um, recently from NARS. This one is called New Lover. It's not focusing, but it is called New Lover. There we go. And here's the color here, and I'll swatch this. New Lover. This is like a, it almost has an orangey tone behind it, but it's very light, very corally, bronzy. To me, it's like a bronzy pinky orange all of these colors kind of all mixed in one it comes out not sheer but like this right so it's not heavy on my lips at all blends quite well and I like it so again that's called new lover it's this last one okay good like it um, other thing I got this from Sephora. This is Bamboo. It's a, an intense moisture mask. So I got that. Hopefully it works. One of the representatives from the company was there that day and he gave me a ton of samples. Not for this particular thing but for a couple of other things which this caviar line or something that also comes through Alterna which is linked with the Bamboo 
company um, or the company that makes this bamboo product and uh, yeah so then I just happened to have been looking on the shelf since he was talking to me and then I saw this and decided to pick it up as you can see I did swipe it with my finger but I have really haven't used this in my hair Next thing I got from Sephora, and this is the Sephora brand body scrub. It costs $18. It's their sugar body scrub by scent and by way of the it the way it feels. It reminds me of the honey sugar scrub from Ollie Henriksen for your face. And it's the red line. I think that's from there. I forgot what they call it, but it's the one that has the red label. And it smells just like that. So it's a sugar body scrub. 18 bucks. Alright, um, I use it a little and it's fine. You get that. I, I can do a review on that in case anyone wants to see it. But it gives you a nice kind of sheen on your hand or your skin, wherever on your body you've used this product. So it's good. And you're paying less than you would for the Ollie Henriksen one, which does come in the form for your face. And I think they do have a bigger one for your body too. Then final two. Okay, we're coming down to the wire. So um, here we go. I was in Sally's. It's a place where I rarely go, but, and I picked up this product called As I Am. I actually went to the counter. Oh, and side note, when I went into another store later that day, I did a lot of running around yesterday, Saturday, um, and I went into Walgreens and a couple of other stores, and I saw this. So, I don't recall ever seeing As I Am before, but this is something that they are promoting for uh, people who have natural hair, um, natural, uh, okay, so you may be saying, so why are you getting this? Well, first of all, I like the ingredients in here, which is why I purchased this. Sorry. I like the ingredients in here, and also I haven't uh, relaxed in eight full months and going on nine soon, but eight full months. So, anyway, I need something that will address all of my hair and take care of all of it the relaxed portion as well as the um, new growth but anyway this one is called hydration elation intensive conditioner and as you can see here it's saying it has oh, sorry if that's not coming in but I'll do this with the review but it says coconut sugar cane green tea apple lemon vegetable glycerin shea butter and vitamin E and on the back it has other things as well which we'll go through that when it's review time. I used a little yesterday as a pre-poo, actually. Um, that's what it looks like. I'll go through the consistency and all that when I'm actually reviewing it. But I just want to show you this. For the month of April, and I'm not sure for how long in April, but this is going to be on sale for $6.99. I got it from the display. When I went to pay for it, I asked the woman, I said, I just want to verify this is a $6.99, right? And she uh, swiped it. Well, not swiped it, but she typed in the code in the computer and said oh no it's $15.99 now see I got this yesterday which was March what March 31st um and she said no it's $15.99 and I said oh that display right there and I'm so happy it was close to the register I didn't have to like walk anywhere or ask her can I bring the sign back and she said oh it says $6.99 there and she looked in the computer she said oh that's for next month so April this month and she said um because today's april first and she said oh well i have to give it to you because it's up already and i said oh perfect so i got this for 6.99 hopefully you will too i saw this in walgreens and it was under lock and key literally and it was priced either from 15 to 17 dollars i don't remember exactly but it was either 15 16 or 17.99 so i guess that really will be the price point for this product as i saw it or as the lady mentioned it was supposed to be priced at and sally's it's just this month they're doing some special thing and it was 6.99 so if you want to check it out this eight ounce bottle in the month of april probably sooner rather than later is when you should check this out at Sally's okay so that's that and the last thing I got also from Sally's and look how big this is this is an argon oil from the company named Proclaim oh it's hard to see there but argan oil Proclaim from Morocco it has well argan oil from Morocco it's a 16 ounce from Sally's and I paid seven dollars and 99 cents and I've been using this um got this just yesterday look how much I used already Ugh, I told you I'm heavy-handed but anyway I got this from Sally's $7.99 and I used it as a pre-poo thus far but I'll probably use it as a real deep conditioner one day to see how it works but that's all I have for sorry I forgot two more things uh, this from brown butter beauty she released a new type of um, scrub well it says it's a scrub and a mask it's called green lady and it's in powdered form it's two ounces I haven't used it yet it cost me 12 bucks. 
I was surprised to see the size of it. I guess I just didn't look at the ounces when I purchased it. Anywho, hopefully it works and it works really well. Green Lady. Okay. And this, I saw a person on YouTube with this on their lips and I said I need it. It's this new CoverGirl. Uh, it's called Blast Flip Stick. Right? Blast Flip Stick because it has colors on both sides. This side I'm not really interested in and I don't know what this side is named. I'll swatch it here, but you know, whatever. It almost looks pinky or something. It's basic. Yeah. Not impressed. Um, but you can, the whole point is that you can use both sides to blend them, make a slightly different color, or do something unique. This is the side that I like. Right? And it looks almost like, um, there we go. Almost has like some reflective or mirror like quality in here. Really nice shade of purple. Um, I will also have this on my lips. Links in the blog post where this video will be. It'll be in the description box, all right here on YouTube. So if you want to see this, not just on my hand, but actually on my lips, um, check out the blog. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you're all doing well. Take it easy. Bye.